A new year is often about resolutions and a renewed focus on wellness. One of the things I'm going to do this year is start drinking more water. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I started looking for a new water bottle after finding some green gunk growing in my current bottle. That's when I heard about Lark. I had a chance to test out the double-walled larger 25 ounce Lark bottle for a week and I'm going to tell you about what I found. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy and learn from. The Lark bottle is billed as the world's first self-cleaning water bottle and water purification system. It uses UVC LED light to nix contaminants from your water and your bottle. This double-walled bottle is big, and that's what I wanted, one that doesn't need constant refilling. The inside is double-walled stainless steel, and the outside has kind of a texturized, powder-coated, or painted steel coating that I actually found to be kind of slippery. Particularly with a bottle of this size, it can be heavy to carry around when it's full. Right away, I felt a little loop or a hook as part of the lid maybe would be handy, but I will also say that it is a chic and minimalist looking bottle. A little more modernism and less phys ed class, if you know what I mean. The first question you probably have is, why do I even need a self-cleaning water bottle? There are a few reasons why a self-cleaning water bottle is actually a really good idea. For starters, if you're traveling to a place where water quality isn't guaranteed, being able to purify your own water and keep your bottle extra clean can be a lifesaver. Secondly, while most of us think water is water and never gets dirty or contaminated when it comes out of a nice urban tap, the truth is gunk can grow inside your water bottle thanks to cross-contamination or germs from things like backwash, chapstick, lipstick, food particles, and even sweat getting in there. Do yourself a favor and do not Google gunk in water bottle. The truth is our water bottles can get gross if they're not cleaned often enough. And honestly, a lot of us don't clean them often enough. I was pretty grossed out to find a layer of greenish black slime appear on the inside of my old water bottle recently. And that really opened my eyes. So how do the bottles work? They've got a small UV light built into the cap of the bottle. Powered by a rechargeable battery, the bottle runs a clean cycle every two hours to purify both the water you put inside it, as well as clean the inside of the bottle. You can also turn the cleaning cycle on anytime and the light will fill up the bottle, zapping, according to Lark, up to 99.99% of biocontaminants from your water and your bottle. Beyond that, there are no filters to change or other components to the bottle. There are two different cleaning cycles with a Lark bottle. There is what's called normal and adventure. Use normal when you just want to make sure your bottle is clean and safe for everyday use. Adventure mode is made for travel and offers an extended clean cycle when you're not sure about how clean the water may be at your destination. Next up, let's dig into what UVC LED technology is and what it can do. In short, UVC light eradicates biological contaminants by essentially destroying their DNA. UV light, even sunlight, has been used for a long time and frequently in places where electricity is not available to purify water. Lark essentially does say you should be starting with mostly clean water without any physical sediment as the UVC LED will not remove those impurities from the water. I should point out I don't have any way to verify the bottle is actually working. Again, my home microbiology lab that I've talked about sometimes would probably be handy, but at this point I'm going to have to promise you a future update and see if the bottle stays clean and gunk-free after a few months. The Lark bottle is designed just for water. The company says it does not recommend using it for other drinks. Even so, if you do, it just says you need to give it a good hand wash with warm soapy water. The Lark bottle will keep cold water chilled for up to about 24 hours or hot for up to about 12 hours. You can also put ice in your bottle, but the company notes it may impact the efficiency of the UV light since Lark uses line of sight technology and the ice may keep the light from reaching certain areas of the bottle. When it comes to battery life, one charge is supposed to keep your Lark bottle going for about a month, depending on your usage. You recharge it via a small micro USB cable. If you want to power your bottle down for a while, you can put it in what's called travel mode, though they could also call it off mode, and that would make sense too. To shut it off, just hold down the Lark bottle cap for about five or 10 seconds until you see a white light flash. By the way, if you're wondering what the colors on the cap mean, I've got a full list and explanations at techgadgetscanada.com.
Overall, I really like the idea of this bottle. I like that I can be confident my water is pure and the bottle itself is clean thanks to the UV light inside. I like drinking from the bottle itself. It keeps water chilled and the narrow mouth makes it easy to sip. I like the looks as well. On the downside, I didn't love the sleek coating for carrying the bottle around on my daily walks. It was a bit too heavy when full and not grippy enough. The addition of maybe a silicone sleeve or a loop on the cap would be a huge upgrade for Lark 2.0 if it's coming, in my opinion. The Lark bottle, this 25 ounce size, which is double walled and insulated, costs about $95 US and you can get it from Lark's website or from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have about this bottle, either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give me a sub since that does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can find me, Erin, on Twitter or Instagram. I'm at Erin L-Y-Y-C. You can also catch me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.